All right, welcome back, guys, to my review of this week's WWE Monday Night Raw for August 13th, 2012. And I have to say that this was damn entertaining. Um, yeah, it was kind of kind of goofy, but it was still really entertaining. Obviously, I just finished watching the show, so the last thing I see was Brock Lesnar breaking Shawn Michaels' arm. <laughs> and oh my God, I thought it. I thought this was the best thing they've done since this entire Brock Lesnar versus Triple H thing started. Um, this was definitely the best thing they've done. And I thought it was a great way to end the show. But anyway, to start off with, um, the show starts with a match. Um, Big Show versus CM Punk. And this is actually pretty good, but eventually Daniel Bryan comes out. And this was awesome. The place went nuts for him. He's freaking out. He's saying no. He's yelling at Michael Cole, saying he deserves to be in the title match at SummerSlam. Um, he attacks CM Punk, throwing the match out. Uh, Big Show wins, or CM Punk wins by disqualification. And he puts him in the no lock. And Big Show and Brian beat up CM Punk. John Cena comes to save him. And AJ comes out and, of course, makes it a tag match for later on in the night. Backstage, JTG is telling Caitlyn that it's crazy he doesn't have a match. AJ walks by, gets offended, thinks that he was calling her crazy, and puts him in a match next. Um, then she says something to Caitlyn, like, do you think I'm unstable? I was hoping she was going to slap her again, because that's kind of what AJ was doing for a while, was always slapping Caitlyn. So I thought she was going to say, Caitlyn, do you think I'm unstable? And then just slap her before she could say anything, but she didn't. Uh, so we get the match. It's JTG versus Ryback. <laughs> and the first thing I notice about this is Ryback has new music. And it's like, before he comes out, it says, Feed Me. And then it plays this new music, and it's just kind of like his old music, but it says, Feed Me More a bunch of times. And then it actually has some lyrics instead of being just music. But it was just so goofy sounding. I don't know. I don't really care for it. But... Uh, Ryback destroys them, of course, and the fans actually seem pretty into this. Uh, they do a poll for Piper's Pit, whether people want The Miz, Jericho, or Dolph. Um, the SummerSlam pre-show is going to be Antonio versus Santino for the U.S. title. This should actually be on SummerSlam, but at least it's on the pre-show, and maybe, I'm hoping that they're going to try to get people to watch these pre-shows by having the title change hands here. That's what I'm hoping they they do, and I would love to see Antonio finally win the U.S. title. And, I mean, anybody win the U.S. title besides Santino, but um, I would like to see Antonio win this match. So, Piper and Shawn Michaels are talking backstage. Michaels is alone. Um, Triple H is running late. He's got flight delays, so Shawn Michaels is... I guess he's freaked out about it or something. Uh, Heath Slater versus R Truth. Um, Truth wins, of course. And the I do want to say something about this match. Heath Slater doing that crazy one man bam baby, that dance he does. It was just hilarious. Very honky tonk man. But anyway, Truth wins. The primetime players come out. No A W, of course. And they beat up Truth. And then that's it. They just beat the crap out of him. I'm thinking, where the hell is Kofi, his tag team partner? They're supposed to, you know, when you're in a tag team, you're supposed to always be together, travel together, all of that stuff. So where the hell was Kofi here? Uh, Mark Henry touts. And it looks like he's going to be coming back as a babyface. And I think that's probably a bad idea. I think Henry's much better as a heel. But, yeah, from these touts, I think Henry's definitely coming back a face. Uh, they mentioned something, and they mentioned this throughout the entire show, something about Pauly D. Um, I guess he's like Charlie Sheen was the social media ambassador, now it's Pauly D. It's kind of like when they would have a guest host for Raw, but instead now it's like just some celebrity on Twitter, or not even really a celebrity, just Pauly D. Um, I think they said he's going to DJ at SummerSlam. I don't know, but when they showed his picture on the screen, the fans booed. And that's a sign right there. I mean, <clears throat> seriously, Pauly D, who could possibly care about that? Uh, WWE.com video of Booker T saying Del Rio versus Sheamus is off. And he was super pissed off. This was hilarious. 
And then Del Rio touts saying that he has a contract um, and that the match is still going to take place. And I'm just thinking to myself, WWE.com video, Del Rio touting. Is this really how I have to follow angles now? Like I have to go online and look at all this shit to follow this? I mean, it just it's completely pointless. And they're just going to show this on TV anyway. So why are they doing all of this? It's ridiculous and... I do think that they are going to have the match at SummerSlam. They're just going to set it up again on SmackDown and possibly add Randy Orton to the match. But either way, yeah, this is definitely going to happen. They're just trying to get people to watch SmackDown. Uh, Sin Cara versus Tensai. Sin Cara actually wins with a Tornado DDT, um, which was bad news for Sakamoto. And, of course, Tensai hits the choke slam on him, the senton, and beats him up a little bit. Backstage, Shawn Michaels is still looking for Triple H, I guess. Uh, and then we get Piper in the ring talking to Jerry Lawler for some reason. And Jericho's chosen for Piper's pit. Um, this segment. Whew, this was bad. I really did not care for this at all. Uh, Michael Cole actually says, this Piper's Pit is starting to stink. <laughs> like, instantly. And it was just really weird. Um, thankfully, Ziggler comes out. He says Jericho is finished. He makes fun of Dolph's hair. And then The Miz comes out. Um, and Piper just keeps saying Y2J and acting really creepy. And he just keeps saying like little things on the mic throughout this entire segment. But Miz tries to take over the show. Jericho punches him. And then Jericho actually beats up Dolph. They, he beats them both up. And then when it comes back, apparently AJ tweeted that this is a match. So we get Miz versus Jericho versus Dolph, which was okay. Uh, Miz actually gives Jericho this nasty slingshot move. You know where they hit their neck on the bottom rope. And I don't know what exactly happened, but it looked like Jericho almost got legit messed up on this. It looked really dangerous. Um, but Jericho hits a code breaker on Dolph. Vicky puts his foot on the ropes. Miz actually taps to the walls of Jericho, but Vicky distracts the ref. Ziggler runs in, hits a zigzag on Jericho for the win. Uh, backstage, Eve tells Punk congratulations on the new CM Punk, and he he basically tells her he's not a heel. Um, <laughs> Cena comes up and scares the crap out of Shawn Michaels backstage. That was funny. And then Punk tells Cena that he won't stab him in the back. Uh, Layla and Caitlyn versus Eve and Beth Phoenix. What the hell was going on in this match? This was just so bad. I mean, yes, Divas matches sometimes aren't the best, and there's a couple botches. I don't know what the hell happened here. It's like everything that could go wrong went wrong. And I am a fan of Layla, but it looked like a lot of it was on her here. Um, she, I don't know what she was doing out there. But Caitlyn wins with a roll-up on Beth Phoenix, and then they still play Layla's music. I guess Caitlyn's not big enough to even have a theme song. Uh, big Show and Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk and Cena. Um, both teams are kind of not getting along. Bryan tags himself in. Big Show tags himself in. Cena and Punk are doing the same thing. Um... Big Show is going to knock out Punk, and then Brian tags himself in. Punk starts doing Cena's five moves. Cena tags himself in, so Punk leaves. And Cena hits the attitude adjustment on Brian for the win. Um, yeah, at least Daniel Bryan was included. I mean, he's not in the title picture, but they're kind of like throwing him in there. Um, for SummerSlam, yes, it's already set the triple threat, Kane versus Brian. But I do think that Daniel Bryan is going to be involved with the title after SummerSlam. He's probably going to beat Kane. And then he can go on to feud for the title. Or at least be included. Because over the past few weeks, he has been saying, I do deserve to be in this match. He's been put in the tag matches and all that type of stuff. So um, at least that was good. Uh, after the match, Punk hits Big Show with the belt. And then he has a stare down with Cena. Punk tries to shake his hand, but Cena refuses. Backstage, Punk tells Matthews that Cena was being selfish. Says that he tried to shake Cena's hand because he thought he was honorable. And Cena refused, which is the ultimate sign of disrespect where he comes from. 
And I thought that was great because a lot of Ring of Honor fans know exactly what he's talking about. He even said he thought Cena was honorable and that it's a sign of disrespect. And anybody who watches Ring of Honor knows about the Code of Honor where um, the wrestlers shake hands before a match. And it's basically just a way to show the fans who's a face and who's a heel. If you're a heel, you don't follow the Code of Honor. And if you're a face, of course you do. You shake everyone's hand. It's competition, good sportsmanship, all that type of stuff. So I thought it was awesome that Punk said that. Uh, so Heyman and Lesnar are backstage. Um, and I actually wrote this down. Obviously, it's not going to happen. But what if HBK at SummerSlam joined up with Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar? and screwed Triple H out of the match, Lesnar wins, and then they have Triple H versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. I thought that would have been kind of cool, but um, obviously a lot of other stuff happened later in the show. Uh, Damian Sandow versus Christian. Sandow smashes Christian's head into the steps. Brodus Clay hobbles his ass down to the ring. Christian tries to roll up Sandow, but Sandow hits the neckbreaker and still wins. <laughs> so this was great, and does a cartwheel afterwards. So backstage, Michaels finally runs into Brock Lesnar, and they look at each other, and then Shawn Michaels walks away. Heyman and Lesnar come down to the ring for the contract signing. Heyman says they believe Triple H's story about flight delays since they know he needs this match. Um, they want him to sign something so that Brock isn't responsible for what he does to Triple H. They call out Shawn Michaels. Michaels comes to the ring, but before he can say anything, Triple H comes out. He signs the contract, Brock signs it, and leaves the ring. And they were really hyping this as the main event, so I'm looking at the clock, and it was 10.40 when this happened. And I'm wondering, okay, what's going to finish the show? You know, Raw usually ends on a cliffhanger. Um, it usually goes until like 11.15. It actually ended early tonight, but they still had more to come. So Brock leaves the ring, and I'm like, what the hell's going to happen now? So backstage, Michaels tells Triple H that Brock is on a whole no, on a whole different level, and Big Show tells Matt Stryker that Punk got lucky. And as he's talking to Big Show, um, we hear some type of commotion, and Stryker's like, "Hold on, hold on!" And he runs out, and we see Heyman has blocked in <laughs> Shawn Michaels. Um, he's trying to leave in his car, and Heyman blocks him, and then Brock just comes and pulls Shawn Michaels out of his car <laughs> and he says I told you I was gonna get you and it was just oh my god hilarious I was laughing my ass off so hard at this and as he's pulling Shawn Michaels out of the car um, he hits the camera so we can't see anything that's happening we can just hear these sounds and <laughs> I guess it's just Brock murdering Shawn Michaels but after the commercial we see that the car is messed up the windshields all cracked and Shawn Michaels is missing <laughs> he's been abducted and AJ's freaking out Triple H comes by he's, he's freaking out there's a few other wrestlers I think Caitlin was back there and Lesnar comes down to the ring with Shawn Michaels and the first thing I'm thinking is this could have really used blood um, that really would have helped them out here but he picks Shawn Michaels up, he hits the F5 on him, and he tries to break his arm. And Triple H comes down to the ring and Heyman says, Stop. If you come any closer, Brock will break his arm. So it's basically a hostage situation. And then Brock just breaks his arm anyway. And Triple H storms the ring. Lesnar escapes with Heyman. Heyman's freaking out saying, You broke his arm. I can't believe you broke his arm. And... Let's see if anything else happened. And no, that was it. So, I mean, that's how it ended. Uh, I guess the medics come down to take care of Shawn Michaels. He's freaking out, saying, don't touch me. And then Lesnar comes back out, and Triple H takes his shirt off and says, we can go right now and end the show. But, yeah, it was weird. It ended early, like at 11.03. It didn't even go to 11.05. But, yeah, it was kind of strange they ended it like that. But I thought it was good. It was entertaining. And yes, it was very uh, it was very goofy with Heyman saying, "I can't believe you broke his arm" and all of that type of stuff. But um, yeah, the whole thing with Heyman blocking his car, <laughs> and Brock grabbing him out of the window. I told you I was gonna get you. It was just, uh, and I think Heyman like 
you couldn't see it, but you could just hear it. And I think Heyman said something like, "That little, get that little weasel." <laughs> it was just so damn funny, but um, for all the wrong reasons. So yeah, I did enjoy this week's episode of Monday Night Raw. I thought I had some great stuff on here. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll probably put up my SummerSlam predictions tomorrow. Um, and that's it really. So hope you guys liked this video. Leave your thoughts on this week's episode of Raw in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Bye.